This is a 3D printed and quite big exapod robot. It moves using 18 servo motors, 3 for each leg. To control it we have an Android app and this will send commands using Bluetooth connection. The robot is controlled by an Arduino Mega inside that also has a Bluetooth module to receive the commands. I've made the connections on a prototyping PCB, we have a powerful regulator to lower the voltage and all the rest of the parts are 3D printed. In this video you will see what we need to make this, how I've designed it and how to mount it and give it a test. The robot could move around, rotate and I'll try to add more features in the future and you'll have everything documented on electronoops.com. The final result is not perfect yet. But I had a lot of fun making this and I hope that you will like it too. Make sure that you subscribe and activate the notification bell. Consider supporting my work on Patreon. So let's get started. This episode is sponsored by GLC PCB. If you have a design and you want low-cost PCB prototypes, check the services on glcpcb.com. For only $2 plus shipping, you can get 5 PCBs of any color that you want. The order process is very simple. Select Code Now, upload the Gerber files of your PCB, then select your settings, such as color, thickness and more. Place the order and receive the 5 boards for only $2 in just a couple of days. More services on glcpcb.com. What's up my friends, welcome back. Let's start as always and see what we need to build this project. The part list is not that big, but we do have a lot of 3D printed files. And have in mind you can always add extra sensors to this project and improve it as you please. So for the 3D printed parts I start by designing the shape of my robot. It will have 6 legs so this will be a hexapod robot. For now the tail and the head are not moving, but I will share different 3D files for placing servos for the head and the tail as well. Ok so each leg will have 7 3D printed parts. The main one will be connected to the robot body and then we add servos in order to move the other parts. I've designed these parts in such a way to be compatible with the MG995 servo motors and also be able to use the plastic connectors they come with. Each leg will need 3 such servo motors. So we have a total of 42 3D printed parts for the legs and 18 servo motors. For the body you have to print the top and the bottom plate, the tail and the head. For all the printed parts I've used PLA material and by the way you have all the STL files below ready to download if you want to build the same project. Ok as the brain of the robot I will use an Arduino Mega. We need the Mega because the Uno doesn't have enough pins and maybe in the future I want to add even more motors and other controls such as sensors, lights and so on. Ok to power everything I will use a 7.4V LiPo battery. Now this step is important. The maximum input voltage of the servo motors is 7.2V and using directly the voltage from the battery might damage them. We can't use 5V from the Arduino regulator neither because we need a lot of current in order to control 18 servo motors at the same time. So for that we use a DC to DC converter and we'll set it to 5V and later in the video you'll see that we'll set it to 7V. This converter must have a decent current output of more than 6 amps. Ok so to control the movement of the robot we could use the Arduino based radio controller from my previous project or we could use a Bluetooth connection. For this video I went with the Bluetooth option and I will also create a simple app for Android and by that be able to control this robot using my smartphone. So we also need this HC06 Bluetooth module with the wired communication. Then we need one 20mm bearing for each leg, a few resistors, an LED, a main on and off switch, wires to make the connections, the 7.4V battery, a lot of M3 screws and also these brass metal insertions. I will insert this in the plastic parts and by that get a very good metal thread so tightening the screws will be easier. As an extra we could have some paint so we could give this robot a better look or just directly print the parts with the color that you want. Ok so this is all we need so let's assemble the robot. We start by creating each leg. We should get something like this for each one and we need 6 of them. Download the 3D files from below. The parts are already oriented and you don't need support material. I've printed the parts with a 0.4mm nozzle, 0.25mm layer height, 20% infill and 2 perimeters and using PLA material. 
first we get this main part of the leg. Using the soldering iron on the left side of this part, insert two of these brass metal threads. On the right side we don't need this, because the screw will pass to the other side. Now insert the servo motor like this. Take out the wires through the hole. Using 3mm screws fix the motor in place. Then we also add the metal insertion threads here on these holes. Now we can take the next 3D printed part. Once again, using the soldering iron, insert two of these metal threads on the left side only. Now insert the servo motor like this, with the rotating shaft on the left side. Tight the screws on the left side first. For the right side we get some longer screws and now we join the main leg part with this other part. So pass them through both and tight them. For the next part make sure that you have the second motor shaft more or less in the middle position. Now on top of the second servo motor we add one of these printed parts. Then we have to cut the tip of this plastic support of the servo. Now take this support and push it like this inside of the 3D printed part. It should fit right in. Make sure it will make more or less 90 degrees with the servo motor like this and screw it in place with the given screw. Take the next support of the servo motor. Add the metal thread insertions. Then the servo motor and on the right side we tie the screws. On the left side take the final plastic part of the leg and add the metal threads insertions. Then using some 3mm screws join these parts together like this. Finally we have to merge the first block with this last part. So take another of these plastic parts. So do the same with this last servo motor as well and screw this part on the motor shaft. This time make sure this part is 90 degrees with the servo but facing downwards like this. Now all we have to do is to merge these blocks together. So using the final part we join these parts so they will stay connected. First we add the metal insertions on each side of the small part. Then we place it in the middle like this with screws. So just like that we have one leg. So we do the exact same process for all six. So now you should have six legs like this ones. Now add the 20mm diameter bearing on each leg like this. This will make the rotation smoother since the final robot will be quite heavy and plastic on plastic could create a lot of friction. Ok, for now we put the plastic parts aside. Now take the voltage regulator and connect it to the battery. Then check with your multimeter and set it to 5 volts. Now take the Arduino Mega and one of these prototyping PCBs. We add some male pins so the PCB will fit exactly on the Arduino Mega female pins. Then use the schematic below and solder all the wires for each PWM signal for the motors. We also add a connector for ground connection and 5 volts from the voltage regulator. You have to use thick wires or add a lot of solder because all the 18 motors will draw a lot of current. You will see in the schematic that I've also placed a voltage divider to the battery in order to check when it's low. Then we use this LED that will turn on when the battery needs to recharge. We also add some female pins for the Bluetooth module. Now connect this entire PCB to the Arduino Mega and that's it. Now we take the bottom plate of the robot and decide where to place the battery, the voltage regulator and the Arduino Mega with the PCB. Next I add the tail and the head on the bottom part. I use some double side tape and place the battery like this. Now I add a toggle switch between the battery connector and the voltage regulator. The voltage regulator will stay on the side and on top of the battery I want to place the Arduino Mega. I make the connections from the battery to the converter and from the converter to the Arduino and power the distribution PCB. Now we should see if the cables from the servos could reach the point here. So connect the cables for each motor as in the schematic. Ok guys so at this point I've start making some changes. First of all the Arduino Mega and the PCB can fit inside of the robot on top of the battery. So for tests I first place the Arduino on top. Later I will place it below and nicely route all the cables so don't worry. Another important change that you will see in the final schematic below was increasing the voltage from 5V to 7V because the servo motors didn't have enough power to lift the entire robot because it's quite heavy. But now we can connect the 7V directly to the Arduino Mega 5V pin. So I've changed the schematic and now we connect the 7V to the VE pin. I upload the code that you could find below and make some tests, in order to make sure that everything works ok. So I pour it on. 
I connect to the Bluetooth module and control the robot. When I was sure that everything is ok, I place back the tail and the head and I screen place the Arduino on the bottom plate now. Then I route nicely all the cables so it will look better. Make sure that the first motor of each leg is more or less in the middle position and then we add all the plastic supports and the screws in place for each servo motor. And just like that the body is complete. Now we have to program it. But first we should take a look at the app that I've made. I've used App Inventor once again to make it. I have a full tutorial about this, the link for that video will be below, so check that out in order to see how to use App Inventor. The graphic part of the app are just some pictures that I've used as buttons. Then in the code part of the app, each time I press one of the buttons, I send a different number. For example, for forward I can send a 1, for backwards a 2 and so on. Now open the Arduino code and you will see that we use the serial read and the tech when we get one of those numbers. When the receive data is 1 we go forward, when it's 2 backwards and so on for all the buttons from the Android app. For the motors we use the servo library and we attach each motor to one of the digital pins using the attach function. Then using the servo write function we can place the servo to any position from 0 to 180 degrees. It's impossible to put all the motors exactly in the middle position when you assemble the robot. So for that use this part here in the code and try different values for each motor till you put them more or less in the middle position and save these values here. Moving the legs is quite easy. As an example we take a look at just one movement. The first servo motor is the one that moves the entire leg front and backwards. So without moving this motor, by changing the angle of the other two motors, we can lift up the leg. Then we rotate the first motor and lower back the leg. Now when we rotate backwards the first motor, it will push the entire robot forwards. You will see that when moving, three legs are touching the ground and three are moving in the air. So in this way we always have a support for the robot and we use the other legs to move around. Please read all the comments in the code to understand even more and also check the tutorial on electrodos.com with more photos and details about the robot, how to create the Android app and how it works and you can get all the needed files and the part list. So compile the code and upload it to the Arduino Mega. Now get your smartphone and using the USB cable, upload the Android app to your phone. Now make sure that you go on your phone to security, special app access and enable unknown apps to be able to install. Then find the Exapod robot app and install it. Enable Bluetooth connection on your phone and search for devices. When you find the HC06 Bluetooth module, connect to it using the 0000 password or 1234. Now open the app. Now click the Bluetooth icon and select the HC06. Now you can control the robot. So guys as you can see it can go forward, backwards, side to side and also rotate to the left or to the right. I will add more features to this robot in a future update video. I also want to make a proper PCB for the robot in order to be easier to assemble and also look better. We can add sensors, voices and sounds using the DF player, LEDs, other motors and anything that you want in order to make this robot cooler. The app already has buttons for that so stay tuned for the future update. So guys check the description for the schematic, the 3D files, the part list and the code on electronoops.com. Even this is a common project on the internet, I had a lot of fun building it and I hope that you will like it too or even better build one yourself using this guide. Any question that you have please use the forum on electronoops.io, link is below. Make sure that you subscribe and activate the notification bell. If you consider supporting my projects, check my Patreon page. So thanks again and see you later guys.